Hi Internet, today I'm going to show you how to make this crazy Nerf gun out of four Nerf Vulcans and a remote button that will run all of them. Oh my goodness. What a mess. Here we go. Alright, first I'm going to show you how to make the control box. It's the most important part. I'm actually not going to show you how to make the actual box because you can use anything for the box. And uh, if you need proof of that, I'm going to use a old salad container for the example. Um, there's two main pieces here. Uh, there's a timed relay that I'm going to show you how to use. And you can hook it up to this big red button. And everything runs off of a uh, battery. Um, I like the 20 volt DeWalt. Um, two amp hour batteries are nice and small. And the 20 volts gives you lots of power. So here we go. Okay, before I show you how to build this, I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna work. So the board, and I'll put the link to this in the, in the description, this is all labeled. So how this board works is you're gonna put power from your battery to this board and also to your button. When you hit the button, it will give a trigger signal to this board. When this terminal gets power, it's going to tell this box here to turn on like a light switch. And then it's going to send power, which is coming from this terminal. It'll turn it and send it to this terminal. And whatever you hook up to this terminal will run for however long you set this clock to. So one more time, you get power from the, from the battery to the button. When you hit the button, it's going to send power to this terminal which is going to tell this box to send power to this terminal. That'll run your Nerf gun for as long as you tell it to. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to start by running basic power to the board. So I'm going to cut a wire that is long enough to go from the battery to the board. And another wire that is going to come from the power terminal at the top here and it's going to reach around to the common terminal which is the middle of that one and I'm going to hook that up so I'll show you that okay now I've got power from my battery to the whole board and to the guns when the switch is turned on. The next thing I'm going to do is power my button. So what you need to do is run power to this back spade and also this spade here. So how we're going to do that is we're going to run one to here and then we're going to, <clears throat> and then we're going to jump another one to the side. So I'll show you that in a second. So now that is going to go one on here, and the other one. On there. So now you've powered the button and this is actually the light on the button. So now I'm going to connect both of these together to a spade that will connect directly to our battery. If you're using a different battery, you'll have to use a different type of spade or clamp or something that'll go onto your battery. So now that will go to our positive on our battery and power the light and power the board. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to set up our grounds to everything. 
and the ground is just the black wire that's going to go to the battery. Okay, so what we want to do now is connect all of our grounds so that they can connect to the battery. So our grounds are going to be, this is the trigger ground, this bottom one. The second one from the top is the board ground. And we have a ground on our button on this side. So we're going to go from this one to this one with this little piece. And then we're going to go from this one to our button ground with this longer piece. And then we're going to take an even longer piece that will go uh, to our battery. And that will also include a connection for the Nerf gun to ground to. So I'm going to show you. Something that's worth remembering is that this is power and this is ground. So if this thing is on and those two wires in there touch, you're going to have a short out. So just be real clean about those wires. Or you might get a little bit of sparks. Okay, so that goes on to our button ground. And I've left another piece here that will uh, connect to our, our Nerf guns when we add those. So the only two pieces left to add are our trigger from our button and the power that's going to go out to our Nerf gun when we're ready. So I'm going to use yellow as my trigger wire. It doesn't really matter what color you use. And so this wire here is simply going to connect from our button to the trigger terminal, which is this one. Now what we need to do is add a wire coming out of here to tell our gun to shoot. Last thing is I'm going to put an end on here for the battery and uh, that will also give us a spot to connect our uh, our gun too, so I'll show you that in a second. So now we've got it set up so that you've got a places to connect your battery to. Black is negative, red is positive. That will run your board and your button, and your button is set up to tell your board to run and all you need to do is connect basically anything to uh, the control wires here and whatever you connect to it will run for whatever the set amount of time is. So now I'm just going to put normal spade ends onto these two ends and then I'll show you how to put the gun together. Okay, now we're set up. We just connect the gun to that and it'll run.
Okay, now I'm going to show you how to take the gun apart and modify it. Uh, you're just going to take um, the lid off of there, take all the screws out around the perimeter, and put that aside. The front can stay together. Then you're going to take out a handful of screws that hold this white piece down. And all we're doing is taking our power and bypassing the electric switch. So when you pull the trigger on this, all it's doing is pressing this yellow button here. And all you want to do is take the wires that go to here and here and cut them off and join them together. And then anytime you put power to this blaster, it'll just run. The other thing I've done, and I'll clip it in from my other video, is I've taken the board off of the back of this motor because it doesn't really like the power. So I've essentially got power coming in from our battery, uh, from our board, on our timer switch, uh, powered by that bu the button on the, on the uh, timer switch. And it's coming in, it's going straight past our trigger button and just running our motor. So I'm gonna, that's all you have to do is bypass this little switch here. And I'm gonna show you uh, from my other video here how to take the board off of there. Okay, so you're gonna wanna get a soldering iron. If you're doing this part, you don't have to, but you may find it's worthwhile. Um, I've got a torch that I like to use. Uh, and so what I like to do put a little bit of pressure behind that board and then melt that solder and that board will start to come up. Uh, I'm actually going to recommend cutting these wires first so you don't burn them and make them useless. Not to burn anything important while you're doing this. So there you go. Whatever that is. So now we just want to connect these two wires back directly to the engine. And if you don't know how to solder, there's actually holes in these. Uh, connections here the hole there right there and you can put that wire through there um, and that may work for you if you can't solder um, I'm gonna try to solder them on Okay, so that's through. Um, try to cheat here. Just get a dab of solder on there. That way it'll stick. And that's it. You can put this back together um with uh your power coming in through this side running there and then your ground coming off of this uh, motor and they just come out the bottom and then all you have to do is connect your yellow trigger coming out of your the trigger spot on your board to your gun and your ground to your ground. And now your board setup is connected to your Nerf gun. And now I'll show you how to put it all together.
Okay, this may be the trickiest part. So before we finish, I'm going to show you how to set up your board. So first thing you're going to do is plug it into your battery and your board should light up. Now these boards don't come with instructions. There's a whole bunch of different settings on here and it should, it'll take you some time to understand them all and I don't even know what they all are. But essentially you want to set this thing to about six seconds. So if you hold set and then it'll let you select up and down to set the amount of time you want it to run. The one thing I do know is you want the period that's going to show up down here. You want a single period in this corner uh, because the other ones uh, when the when the periods show up in other places or if you set um, the settings to something else it will run for a weird amount of times it may not run if it's in the off position so if you just hit the set and then set the time it should be okay um, but it may take some figuring so mine is set and so i'm going to test it here uh, the big red button just touches this little black thing and it'll run our board. So if I test it, like I just hit the button. And now it's working. So now we're going to put it together. So how we put this together in my used salad container, is pretty simple. I'm just going to put everything in the box. The button sets in on an angle and then clips into place like that. You can take it out. My light actually burned out, so I'm going to put a new light in there. So it looks cool. There. Now, as if you couldn't already see everything on the internet, I have a salad container that operates a Nerf machine gun. And that's it. Now, if you wanted to connect more of these uh, guns to the same machine, all you would do is you would make the wires coming out. You would just have another wire coming off with the same end on it over and over and over again. And same with this one with the power side, you would just come off with the same end over and over and over again. And each one would connect to a, di a different gun. This is my example of that. Um, it's just a big long cord where over and over again you've got the power and the ground and uh, these are all wired in parallel so everything is getting the full 20 volts from the battery and that's how I run four you could run six or 12 if you had enough power and uh, that's it all right guys if you like that hit like and subscribe it helps me out and uh, subscribe if you like learning how to build stuff. I got some more on the works. See you next time.